Well, hello everyone, um, welcome again to Manadrain videos. Um, as I just made this video in French, I'm going to do it in English too. Um, I'm going to unbox with you the Barbie Gods Underworld Herald um, Even Deck, which is a um, good thing that goes out every time there's a new extension that uh, comes out with Magic the Gathering. So this time it's Born of the Gods. Born of the Gods was introduced this uh, winter, 2040, and is um, really a really interesting edition to play in limited, but this is um, obviously some standard oriented pack. So you you have cards that are really um, get a lot of importance in standard playing, and this one is a mono black deck, as you see on the top. The only um, pronounced symbol is black. So you've you've got you've got basically only black cards into this. I've already unboxed this one, so I added a few cards next to it. You always have a dice that you have all the time with it. You have some regular um, rules um, rules tips that are printed on a large paper poster. And you have some great things to learn to play magic when you're not used to it. And this is not uh, really a pack for the, for the first time players, for the real beginners. It's uh, more of a pack than you would advice to people who already knew about magic a little and who like to go in further into um, playing tournaments in the local uh, shop or local um, area when you can play tournaments on a regular basis and you have as usual um, into this pack a sideboard and um, a, a 60 card main deck and a 15 card uh, sideboard as usual so you only get swamp 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 as lands as usual, that's a lot of swamps that you'll get, and you've got some um, prickle things inside. Most of them are cards that you would see uh, in Limited, that are really good, like the Ragdos Cackler, which is all good um, in Standard too. The Ragdos Cackler is a good thing to get. You've got the Ragdos Shred Freak, which is also a hasty red and black thing that you'll get to play as black only this time. You've got some interesting uh, gifts of Orzova that are a really good thing to pick up in Limited. You've got some stats that you don't really get interested about. I'm just filtering out the good cards that I like to remember. And you've got the cremate things you might want to play one day. This is part of a sideboard and you've got some... Um, this is what I was searching. Yep. Yep, this one. You've got the Mogis Marauders into it, which is good things to pick up into Limited too, because they really give um, haste and intimidation to to creatures you got and usually makes a game. And you've got some uh, Tormented Hero too, which is a thing that, you, that just gets the new heroic capacity. You've got um, one robust emissary, you've got Spite for Returns, you've got some more interesting cards I would like to talk about. So, first of all, You've got, um, I'm going to start with interest, uh, the Agent of Fates, which is a card that just makes people sacrifice creatures against you and uh, it's quite a, a good toolbox because every time you target it, people have to sacrifice something. You've got um, some Xavier Necromancer. The Xavier Necromancer is a good thing to have too, but not something that really sees play towards standard in the last, um, in the last months. Um, you've got the Blood Scrivener. The Blood Scrivener is uh, something that could see play, but it's not really, really interesting so far. And then you've got some really, really interesting cards that you want to get <coughs> in standard if you're playing um, Magic the Gathering. Whether you're mono black or not really mono black as per control, for example, you've got you, you got the good needs of these cards. So first of all, you've got the new Bile Blight. I'll show this on the side. Bile Blight is uh, a really good spot removal that just um, gives minus three minus three to all the creatures that have the same name but it's one you're targeting uh, and it's going to be pretty much the same as Eco Ring Thruf, although it's not as powerful as uh, Eco Ring Thruf. Um, but I think it, it's gonna be see it's gonna see some play. Not not maybe not a standard, maybe in modern I don't know but this is a really powerful re spot removal. The Bile Blight is something you want to have somewhere in your in your <clears throat> in your reserve, and uh, you've got some uh, really popular um, spot removal. You've got the ultimate price that just gets rid of most of the thing in standard, not the mutable, for example, not the things that got protection from black, like um, 
if, if this this doesn't of course remove the, um, the blood burden of this copa because it's black and it targets something that's monocolored so that doesn't kill this one but it kills the the hasty dragons that you get on uh, on red green decks on mono red decks too it kills um Pretty much all the things in standard actually. That's why that's why it's really interesting. Doomblade was a really good spot removal. You got three of them into this one. Uh, the three Doomblades you get in are really useful if you want to play standard nowadays because um, they used to be a, for for once a mono black deck. Uh, really really powerful in standard. It's tr it's really trending to decrease slowly nowadays. It's still really played, um, but not as much as it used to be. So. Playing something that destroys um, the black creatures is actually something that might get of interest today, and I think Doomblade is going to be is going to come back into most of the decks. Uh, for example, I'm playing Esper decks to today's, and um, I'm really hesitating between those two ones um, since my area doesn't play lots of mono black decks. I'm really trying to remove uh, this for getting back to Doomblade. Then, as a as sideboard cards, uh, the deck offers you to play Farika's Cure. Farika's Cure is really good against uh, everything that tries to get your life off. So, for example, Farika's Cure can be good uh, against the um, red decks, red, gr red, green, red, white decks too. And um, there's a new type of deck that's emerging today. It's uh, some white red deck that's burning you out. Like It's got lots of uh, instant burning spells like... Um, Skullcrack, like uh, Wally the Helix, and other things that try to aim directly at you, and every single point of life you can get is something that may give you an advantage into winning the game. So, the Rick is curious in Cyborg option that is really interesting. Then you've got obviously the Duress in the deck. Uh, the Duress is a uh, um, costless alternative to um, Thoughtseize. Thought is, is back in standard, so as you know, um, used to be in low win, it's back, it's still very powerful. Uh, the reason is one of the most um, discard card played in uh, Modern and Legacy 2. Uh, Duress is still cool in standard, especially when you play against Mono Black control, against Esper control, Blue White control, and everything you can see at the time I'm playing this video. And it can it can be um, a, a great addition to to um, Thought is if you don't want to lose life. Um, Dark Betrayal that destroys only <laughs> only a black creature, which is the opposite of Doomblade, and it's a, it's a, it's an instant too, but um, you, you you had to have those ones when people were really playing mono black decks, it's string is tending to uh, decrease in use, like uh, you know the devotion deck, blue devotion decks and black devotion decks are really seeing less and less plays today, so I don't think you will not you will need this one um, <coughs> anymore but just keep this one on the side maybe maybe you want to come back one day with this and then you've got some really cool things I want to talk about you've got the mandatory pack rats the pack rats is um, one of the best sleepers I remember Luis Cotvac is just telling this one as a sleeper because no one saw or really saw how much this guy would be destroying things <laughs> But actually, uh, it's one of the pillars of, of the basics of a mono black deck, and it's really, really interesting. It's really something you, you need to have because re really, very pack race is destructive. You know, um, one is easy to handle, two can be handled, three is still handled, like for example, like by uh, Bile Blight, for example, and once it goes further, you're pretty much dead. <laughs> pretty much. You also have the Desecration Demon, which is. Um, Probably one of the best creatures in the format, if not the best creature. Uh, I, re I really have a doubt which is best creature in, f in the standard, but this one, the Blood Baron of Viscopa and the Storm Breath Gun, um, uh, are really, really powerful creatures you don't want to be fighting against because this one's supposed to have a drawback, and the drawback is actually an advantage too. So I have to say, this one is still a 6 6 4 4 and it has flying and. Is, is, it's a really really one of the best creatures in the in the in the format. So you want to have you if you want to play the real um, one of the real lists of mono black today, you have obviously to have four examples of um, four copies of Discretion Demon and four copies of Pack Rats, uh, four copies of uh, Nightville Spectre, four copies of uh, Underworld Connections. Well, like good too, um, and you you obviously had to also. Um, be watching out for Heroes Downfall, which is not as plays as it used to be in uh, 
multicolored decks, but as long as you're still playing mono black deck, you have to have Heroes Downfall next to you because it does all the job. It's one of the first cards that really targets directly a Planeswalker and kills it. You've had um, Dreadbore and all the blasts that you can redirect to Planeswalker as the basic rule states, but it's not doing as much as Heroes Downfall is doing, and this one is going to be seeing some play in maybe all the formats, who knows. I'm playing a lot of Commander, and this is a good card to have in Commander, and in standard you have to get this one too, so there's one copy in the, um, in the deck and it's cool too. You've got some Fated Return, which I think is uh, probably doomed to stay and remain the sleeper. You won't be seeing this card uh, much. Uh, and this is all about the Mono Black deck. I think for the cost that it's going to be um, something like... $25 or 20 euros, uh, something like this. It's really, really an efficient deck, is what it's doing. You can play this in tournament and you might be winning because all the cards are really, really, um, as you have seen, uh, in a low curve and you, you can play the whole deck uh, pretty much easily. If you can find some Utables, if you can find some other Desecration Demons, Pack Rats and Heroes Downfall and some Nightville Spectres, I've got them on the side, I'll have them with my hands now, you might be going to something pretty pretty efficient at doing something in standard. So I think until the game rotates, uh, these cards are really something you want to be watching and all the cards that I played inside are something that could see some play in standard uh, as I spotted you to spot removals and also the creatures. Keep an eye on these ones and see you next time. Bye.